On the question of missing telegrams. I must caution you, sir. Very well. Telegrams that are alleged to have been withheld from this inquiry. Mr. Labouchere, the business of this inquiry is to assess the evidence, not to indulge in gossip. I will have all references to missing telegrams, alleged or otherwise, struck from the record. Mr. Rhodes, if you would kindly proceed with your statement. Thank you. Acting within my rights, I placed on territory, under the administration of my company, a body of troops under Dr. Jamison, prepared to act in the Transvaal in case of eventuality. Just a moment, just a moment. Acting within my rights? What do you mean by that? It means I had the right to put him there. As Prime Minister of the Cape? If you like. I gave you the right, did it? Mr. Lebouchere, I fail to see the point Presumably, of this line. The Prime Minister of the Cape stands in confidential relations with the Governor of the Cape, who in his turn enjoys confidential relations with the Colonial Office, who appointed him. No, 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 no. What, are you suggesting that Sir Hercules Robinson was not appointed by the Colonial Office? No, of course not. I meant that I did not confide in Sir Hercules. So you were not acting within your rights as Prime Minister when you placed those troops on the Bechuana land border? My company had bought the territory. I see. You exercising your right as chairman of the chartered company. Exactly. Who must obtain the consent of his directors. Uh, no. What? Not the chartered company. My rights as myself. No one, um, did, uh, none of the other directors was party to this. None of them? No. Lord Gifford, you had no communication with him? No, with none of them. Really? May I return to the question of Sir Hercules Robinson? Mr. Lebouchere, the witness has stated quite plainly I have that the Governor General. A copy of a telegram which did not go missing. Mr. Lebouchere. It's dated December 21st and it reads Please inform Mr. C.J. Rhodes that definite assurance must be given that on the day of flotation, he and the chairman will leave for Johannesburg. Now, who was this chairman? who would accompany you to Johannesburg on the day of the insurrection? Was it by any chance Sir Hercules Robinson? And if not, who was it? May I have time to uh, consider my response? I had no idea that this telegram was to be presented in evidence. But it's your telegram. It's addressed to you. Addressed to my company, Chartered Cape Town. Please inform Mr. C.J. Rhodes. It's stated. It's for you. Sir. It's ten to three. Uh, if it would please the committee, I would like time to consider my answer. Who is this chairman? You mean you'd rather answer it on another day? Yes. If it would please you, that is what I meant. I certainly have no objection if the other members of my committee... Who is this chairman? Mr. Labouchere! 